Welcome back to the Thanksgiving edition of CAD Jungle. In today's episode, we're going to be creating this plate. Let's hop right to it. Let's start out by creating a new component. Let's create a sketch and let's put it on the top plane. For this project, all dimensions will be in millimeters. We created a circle, made it 200 millimeters in diameter, and now we're going to press the E key. We're going to extrude it 10 millimeters. We're going to set the taper angle to be 60 degrees. We're going to rotate it to the bottom. Create a sketch on that bottom face. We're going to use the project key by hitting the P. On the keyboard, selection filter is going to be set to specified identities. I'm going to select the bottom edge, make sure it's blue, and it's projected. Let's finish the sketch. Select the extrude command once again. I want to extrude this again 10 millimeters and set the taper angle to negative 40 degrees. Let's add some fillets. We're gonna fillet this edge here and this edge here. I'm gonna make it 10 millimeters. Let's also fillet this outer edge here. We're gonna make it one millimeter. Let's rotate it to the top. Select the shell command. Select this top face. I'm going to make it 1.5 millimeters. Let me unselect that one time, remove tangent chain, then select this top face. And now it's set. Let's rotate it to the bottom. Create a sketch, this bottom face. Select the P key for project. Selection filter should be set to specified entities once again. Select this edge here. Finish the sketch. Next, we're going to use the extrude command. Select this edge, but we're going to be selecting thin extrude this time. We're going to make it two millimeters in length. And now we got the bottom lip. Let's add some fillets. I'm going to select this entire face here. We'll select this edge, if I can select it. I'm going to select this edge here. We're going to make it 0.5 millimeters. Let's hit the A key for appearance. And in the library, let's search for glass. When we search for glass, Let's go down to the Fusion 360 library. We want to look for glass noise. Let's continue to scroll. Noise is here. Let's add it to our appearance library. And we want regular glass as well. Heavy color is going to be blue. Okay. Now we're going to give it a specific color. So let's start out with every color blue and let's drag it onto the, uh, the body. Let's modify this and let's set the colors as follows.
for the glass noise, let's set it the same color. Let's set the scale that we want the noise to be 48. Let's change the application to faces. Let's drag this glass noise to this outer face here. This face here. And one more. Let's go ahead and render. Select the render tab. Appearance is already set. Let's go to scene settings. Environment library for this one, I'm gonna set it to cool light. I'm gonna select in canvas render. And I'm gonna rotate the actual cameras around and the lighting. Now you can set this up exactly the way you'd like it to be set up. Your render preferences may differ from mine. And once it's complete, you'll have a render such as this. Well, I hope you enjoyed this brief tutorial. Have a happy Thanksgiving, and I'll see you in the next video.